Hello everyone, I'm Sue and welcome to First Light Festival Workshop and in this workshop I'm going to show you how you can make a stunning 3D sunburst headdress. So what you'll need to make this are a few items here. One headband which I found in the chemist, but you can go to a supermarket for those. A roll of gold foil. This one I found in a pound shop, so it cost a pound, which is very good. Double sided sellotape, a soft cloth or duster, ordinary sellotape, glue stick, a ruler, a few pegs, a pencil, two elastic bands. A pair of craft scissors, some PVA glue, 21 sheets of A4 copy paper and a dinner plate. Before you make the headdress you will need to prepare the paper and I'm going to show you how to do that now. We take our roll of paper, the gold roll, and as you can see, it curls up in the corners. So I'm going to put a pair of scissors on that edge and sellotape on that edge. And we take our first sheet of A4 copy paper and I'm going to be pasting that here. Now I've got um, PVA glue, the consistency of milk. It's probably about half and half water to PVA glue. And the best way to start is in the centre of the page, and that helps to stop the paper curling up too much while you're pasting it. And then down this end, we need to work out towards the corners and make sure our edges are nicely covered as well. And then we can turn that over and lay it down onto the gold paper, wrong side up, remember. Now I'm wearing an apron, that's very handy for when you get a bit messy to wipe your fingers on. And then I'm taking my um, soft cloth or duster you can use, and I'm just going to rub that onto the page because I want to get rid of all those air bubbles. You can probably see them on here and I'm pushing them out towards the edges. So that the paper is nice and smooth. If you want to, you could use another sheet of paper over the top to help protect your cloth. Depends on how much glue you've got everywhere. But that's nice and stuck down. And we're ready to do the next one. So I take the next sheet, and we should be able to fit three on here across. And you need to do 20 sheets for this. So this is sheet number 20 on here. And as you can see, there was an extra piece of paper on the edge, which I've cut off. We're going to use that to make the crown. So that can be put to one side to dry. We're going to be making this area of the headdress. We need a4 piece of paper, sitting landscape, roughly halfway up the page. You will need to make, I should say halfway along the page, you need to mark two centimetres 
one centimeter, two centimeters. I'll turn this around, you can see. We need to place the center of the headband. I'm doing this by eye, that's fine. You'll be able to do that as well. Onto the paper. Going to hold that down and draw the curve. I then want to fold it so that those meet up, the two ends of that curve meet up. And I'm just going to crease that along there. We then need to measure six centimeters from the edge of the curve, the bottom curve, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we need to measure nine centimeters from the top of the arc along the fold. Nine centimeters. Then we take our dinner plate and join those two dots together. So again, a nice curve, the dots meeting. Now we need to cut that out. Okay, so that is our crown piece. You will see on here that we've got points. So we're going to measure where we need to cut to make those points. And the way you're going to do this is to fold it in half so the top, you're folding along the top arc in half and I'm just pinching in half again, pinching and then with your scissors, cut from that corner down towards the center and this side. So that when we open that up, we have got our lovely sunburst shape which again now needs to be put on the gold paper. So I'm going to paste this on a piece of newspaper just so we don't get in a mess. Because we've got all those corners and points to, to glue. And again, starting in the center, working the paste out along the edges, and up to those points. Pick that up and put it on our gold paper. And again, I'm going to take the soft cloth and I'm going to just use another piece of paper to put it on top so that those points aren't in danger of moving and we get a nice smooth finish. And we leave that to dry. We can cover the headband with gold. And I have cut off a strip of the gold paper. And I have the headband and I'm going to use a glue stick. I'm covering the headband, the outside of the headband with the glue stick. one edge up and 
and the other edge up. Smooth that down. Trim off, I'm leaving probably two centimeters on the edge there, extra. Same on the other side. Spend a little time smoothing that down. Okay, and we leave that to dry. Now you've finished gluing all your pieces and they're dry, we now need to trim them down. And I'm going to show you how best to do that. As you can see, it does curl, so I'm going to use lots of to hold that down, in fact I won't use that one, I'm going to use my hand for that side and I'm just going to cut up and don't worry that it curls like this because We'll be folding it into a, a, a fan and that kink will disappear. Now I'm going to show you how to make each section of the fanning and you'll see that we have short fans and longer fans. So we'll be folding the paper, landscape and portrait. So I think start with the landscape folding gold side down, fold over, the gold side is now up. And it's always easier to fold away from you. And at this point, we're just marking where our folds need to go. We're not actually making an accordion or a fan at this point. So as you can see, that's not a fan shape. So you start by making sure that you have an edge down, not an edge up. So that edge must be facing down and then you can start refolding. And I'm using my thumb ends of my thumb just to help and then again the ends of the fingers just to help guide that paper along those creases that are facing the other direction and then if we get our scissors we can just I don't know if you can see that run the edge of the scissors down. and I think they work better when you're pulling them towards you than pushing it away. Okay, so there you have it. The first bit of the short fan, edges facing down on both sides. And we need to do that for all 10 of our pieces. So you will have folded 10 of those pieces of A4 paper landscape. We're now going to fold the next 10 portrait. So our paper needs to start off looking landscape and the folds will end up going along the long edge. So just as before, Folding in half, folding in half again, turning it around, fold up to that centre fold with the first flap, up to the centre fold, the 
with the second flap. Same as before, opening it up, making sure our edge is facing downwards. We're going to start refolding that into an accordion, into a fan. Backwards and forwards, flipping it over, using the nails, fingernails and thumbnails just as a guide. And again, using the scissors to help create nice crisp edges. And if you have a slight variation like that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be 100% perfect. And you'll notice that these pleats are thinner than these pleats. That's how they should be, so don't worry about that. And you need to do that again for the last, for the, the, the 10, uh, final 10 sheets of gold. Okay. We need to take one fan that's been folded lengthwise along the length of the piece of paper and one that's been folded across the width of the piece of paper. So one short, one long. And place the short one on top of the long one. So you can see from there, at these bottom valleys that they are touching. And then as I bring that up, you should be able to see, to line those up a little bit more, that these points are together and these points are not. We have a gap on our wider, shorter fan. And that is what is going to create our 3D effect. As you can see, the short fan sticks out beyond the longer fan. Now, while we're holding this, we're going to glue it. I've got some glue stick. And you need to lift up each flap in turn. Now if I turn it around this way, perhaps you can see. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue inside each of those flaps. And the last two papery ones as well. And this is where our pegs come in because we're going to use a peg just to hold that tight while it dries. And we need to do that for all of them. So you'll end up with 10 sections like this. So here we go again, short piece on top of long. This is a bit fiddly, I don't deny it, but the main thing to remember is that your valleys are on the table together be able to see that and then as you gradually pick them up you should be able to see that these points are touching these have got the space if we were to be making this sunburst headdress in just the gold we would now start sticking our sections together. But I thought it might be rather fun to, on this demonstration, on this one that I'm going showing you, um, maybe to decorate it a little bit more. And so we're going to use some glitter. I've got red glitter. 
and I'm going to just shake some of that out and then we're going to take each of our sections and I'm now going to use PVA that's not been watered down so it's full strength PVA and I'm just going to brush a little of that on and then dip 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 in the glitter and then we can leave it to one side to dry and I'm going to do that for all of them. So while those are drying with the red glitter we can carry on with our crown where we stuck one side down on the gold foil. We're going to cut that out because we want to stick it down again on the other side so both sides have gold. So there we have our crown cut out and we're going to paste that down onto another piece of the gold paper which is curling up so we'll just put those down and so I'm going back to my watered down PVA starting in the center working out towards the edges okay and we can leave that to dry and we can turn our attention to the hairband once more. Now you remember we stuck that all the way around here with the, with the glue stick and pressed it down. I have then trimmed this side. So you can see that between an inch, um, a centimetre and two centimetres and we can trim the other side as well. Make that look really pretty. So we take our glue stick and I'm just going to run some glue stick along that first edge. to the hairband. This means that when we fold the paper, we shouldn't get so many crinkles and we'll get a nice neat finish. So I'm starting from the center and I'm just folding that over working my way along. up and we'll leave it to dry. You might want to just spend a little bit of time making sure that that's all nicely stuck and secure so that we have finished our hairband like that. And when this is dry we will cut it out in the same way as we did before and because this time we're using our glitter. I thought it'd be quite good to put glitter on the crown. It's covered in the red glitter. I used the full strength 
PVA and pasted it on the glue, uh, on the gold, and then liberally sprinkled the red glitter over the top. And when that's dry, we can lift that up. Give it a little tap, give it a little excess. And you can see we've now got a nice red glittered crown, which we can use when we're putting the whole thing together. So coming back to our sections, this is where the fun begins because we're going to start constructing our headdress for real now. Um, you'll see I've prepared already some strips here of double-sided sellotape. They're roughly two thirds of that distance, the short fan distance. Don't, they don't have to be completely exact. And it probably works out about 100 to 120 centimetres each one. Okay, so I've got all my strips ready here to use. And we want to be putting the tape along this edge, not the folded edge, the other edge. So I'm going to move that peg, because that's all nice and glued now anyway. And take the first piece of tape. So with the glitter or the folds in f ahead of you, and to lay that double-sided tape there. Now you've probably got nails, so it'll be a lot easier. And we take our next section. And we're going to place it on top. Again, making sure our folds are on the same side. So I've got the gold in front of me and the white behind. And we're placing that on top, carefully on top, like so. That will hold itself. And then I just think it's quite a good idea just to help it keep those pegs down there. Next one, but we'll put another peg just here as well. I'll get sorted. Another one on the edge. Next section. Making sure we're facing the right direction and we're facing that. And we're going to put five of these together. to use an elastic band that there and I think I'm just going to keep those this end pegged because it will be a lot easier to work with later on and we do the same for the other side so now you've prepared all the sections I'm going to show you how to assemble them onto the headband Okay, so you can see I've trimmed down the headband. And now we come to the exciting bit, which is attaching these sections onto the headband itself. And before we do that, we need to put some double-sided sellotape around the headband. Now I'm using the teeth on here, it's quite a good guide 
because we don't want to go all the way to the bottom. That's nicely stuck down. Lift that up. Okay, so we need the top center. And we'll need to remove the elastic band because we're going to be placing the folded side down on the table. there and securing it with some sellotape. And we'll see as tight as we can. Hold that down nice and firmly. Same with the other side. Making sure the folded edge is at the table, bottom on the resting on the table. And carefully wrapping our So I'll take nice and firmly around. And then I'm going to move the cell tape across and wrapping it in the middle. As you can see, I'm pushing and pinching and making sure that that's nice and tight. Don't worry about thinking, oh my goodness, there's a lot of cell tape on here because you won't see it once we put the crown on. So as you can see, it's beginning to take shape now. If you remember, we've got tape all the way down here and we just need to, with that last flap, we're just going to ease it down. onto the double-sided tape. Same with the other side. And then we need to just sort of gently try and tease these pleats up. Because what we want them to do is meet in the centre. So I'm just helping them a little bit, teasing them up. Because we're going to be joining them in the centre here. And the way we do that is again with some double-sided sellotape. And I'm putting that on the edge of that flap. Making sure that the points meet and then gently easing that down. 
easier to do it from the back. Nice and secure. And you can see it's meeting very nicely in the center. And now we're just ready to put our finishing touch with the crown area on. If you remember, we're going to be using the gold and red glitter to place on there. And I think the easiest way of doing this is to Use the glue stick and completely cover the back. And I'm using the glue stick because it's got quite a good hold. It's quite firm and it dries a lot more quickly than the PVA. So I'm placing that in the center. So I know that's the center, that center point. And I'm just very gently going to push it down so the edge the meeting the edge of the headband and as you can see we can't see the um, sellotape from the front I left the headdress to dry face down with a book weighted on top. And now that's nice and dry, we can reveal our final piece with the headdress with the red glitter. And we have, of course, our headdress with the gold. And if you want to, we can play around with the idea. And this one has got the gold on the back, but I painted the paper before pasting it and I've added extra decorations. These are kebab sticks dipped in glitter um, or it could be drinking straws and you can play around as you want to. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that and I might see you again. Bye.